Hey beautiful ones, it's Francesca with HeyFriendHey.com. So today we are going to focus on a do-it-yourself raw and organic deep conditioning treatment for our hair. Last time we did a deep conditioning treatment for our skin, it was an awesome body smoothie that we made with our ninja. And today we're going to continue on with our do-it-yourself beauty and do a nice, really easy hair smoothie. So I'm going to explain a little bit of what we're using and why we're using it. And we can just jump right in because this is going to be a really nice and easy and quick video. So let's start with olive oil. We're going to be using unrefined, unfiltered, extra virgin, all the good stuff, extra virgin olive oil by the Bragg's brand. It's organic, of course, and cold pressed, which means that a lot of the original nutrients are still in it. They weren't processed out, so this is why I choose this one. Of course, you don't have to use the Bragg's brand. Just make sure that it is organic. Make sure it's raw and unfiltered so that you can get all of the benefits. Why are we using olive oil? Well, olive oil is awesome for sealing hair, which means that it coats the cuticle so that you'll have less frizz. Especially with these cold winds and this harsh winter weather, this is going to be the lifesaver for giving us that beautiful shine and glow on our hair. So that's why we're going to be using olive oil. The next ingredient up is organic raw honey. This one is by the 365 Organic Everyday Value brand, exclusive to Whole Foods. Like I always say, you don't need this brand, but just make sure that you get raw honey because that means it wasn't processed. So why do we use honey? Honey is actually like a natural shine serum. So you see how my twists are like plump and shine and just have like a pretty glow to them? It's all because of the honey. So that's why we're using this. And the next ingredient is the organic coconut milk. Now this is the protein boost. This is what is going to strengthen and fortify our hair. A lot of people are always looking for treatments to fix damaged hair. And reality is, if you have heat damage, if you've been neglecting your hair, there's really nothing you can do to it to fix it. But if you start trimming off the damaged parts, this is what you want to nurse your new growth with. You want an all natural protein boost. So this is what's gonna fortify those strands so you can have a beautiful, healthy, new head of hair as it continues to grow in. So that's why we're using the coconut milk. And our raw ingredients are going to be an avocado. Why are we using an avocado? Well, it's loaded with awesome, healthy fats, and the fats are what going, what's going to hydrate our hair. So this is basically our all-natural moisturizer. And last but not least, our banana. We're only going to use a half. Why do we use a banana? The potassium serve is an all-natural emollient. And what's an emollient? An emollient is what softens the hair. When you finish deep conditioning and you come out the shower and it dries, you know when you touch your hair and it just feels buttery soft and you know that the deep treatment worked, this is what's gonna help us get that feel. So that's pretty much it for our ingredients. Now I'll explain how much of each one we're gonna use and we are gonna use our handy dandy ninja to get it all done. So the measurements for this, super easy to remember. It's basically half of everything. And if, depending on your hair, if you have lots of hair, lots of density, or if you have fine hair, mess around with the measurements of course it never has to be the exact anything you can use oils that you know your hair likes if you know your hair likes coconut oil if you know your hair likes avocado oil mess around with it the point is just to use raw and organic ingredients and i'm kind of just giving you guys a template you know to build off of so never feel like it has to be these ingredients or if you know that your hair doesn't like olive oil or something you know just giving you an idea of something you can make on your own so like I said, it's gonna be half of everything. Before I forget, this is the Ninja. For those of you that are new to the channel, I got this for about 35 bucks off of Amazon. It's a super cute little food processor that I've been using as sort of my beauty station. And it's what I use to make my body smoothies and my hair smoothies. And I like to kind of keep that separate form from the blender I use for my smoothies that I drink, you know, just cause mentally it just feels better to keep it all separate from each other. And all the information on where you can purchase all of these things will be in the description box, of course. So here's a half a cup of olive oil. Half a cup of coconut milk. 
so cool to make your own stuff because it's just, you know it's fresh, you know it's healthy. Half a banana, half an avocado. I'll just scoop that out. And then we are going to do two tablespoons of raw honey. Look how good that looks. Make sure your hands are clean when you're using this. I already want to eat this. If your hair needs more protein, add a little bit more coconut milk. Use a cup. If it needs less, or if you know your hair has a protein sensitivity, use less. Use a fourth or a third, you know? Kind of mess around with the measurements according to your hair's needs. If, if shine is what you're looking for, use more honey. If you don't want too much shine, use less, you know? So play with it as you see fit. That's the fun part of making your own stuff. You can customize it to your hair type. So we are done pouring all the stuff in, and now we are going to blend. And just like that, our hair smoothie, our raw and organic hair smoothie is done. Look at that, it smells Amazing by the way. Just so you guys can see how awesome the consistency is, I'm gonna take out this big old bowl and pour it in. You guys see that? Yeah. Hard to come out. If you guys see that, isn't that awesome? Super creamy and amazing for your hair. So that is pretty much it. You're done. How do you use it? I basically put this all over my hair, same way you would with any deep conditioner. Sorry, it's like all over my hands. Same way you would with any deep conditioner. Pour it all over your head, leave it on under a cap for 25, 30 minutes. I know some of you like to leave it for the whole night or overnight. However you do it, just use these awesome ingredients and you will see that your hair is gonna look and smell amazing. The reason I use a food processor, I know some people just like to mush it. Because of how well it's pureed and blended, you're not gonna have bits of avocado or banana in your hair. Those are a pain in the butt to get out. So this is going to be super easy breezy. And the cool part is after you finish using this awesome deep treatment and you rinse it out with you know whatever your wash process is, remember our little handy dandy butter that we created in the last video? Well, this is what I used on my hair. The last video was for our body, but because of the raw ingredients, you can also use it on your hair. This is actually what's in my hair now from my twist, so just so you guys can see. So this is after I use this. And twists, of course, are awesome now that the cold winter weather, it's nice to keep your hair in twists as opposed to, you know, wet wash and go styles because this is just healthier. It helps your hair retain more moisture and growth and your ends are kind of like protected and coiled. It's just better for the winter and you don't have to do your hair as much. So you just take, you know, a little bit of the butter and see all that awesome health. I just basically coat my hair. There's a tutorial for this as well. I'll post a link below in case you don't know how to twist your hair. But all raw, natural ingredients, perfect for hair. I know you guys can see how shiny that is. And a tip when you're making a twist, don't twist all the way to the bottom. Leave the bottom about an inch so that you can get that really cute coil and then you avoid knots that way. Because I know when I twist all the way to the bottom, sometimes when I'm trying to take it out, it gets really tangled. And that's how you get those cute coils. And look at that. And this is all the smoothie we made ourselves and the deep treatment we made ourselves. Nothing like homemade natural beauty. So I hope you guys found that helpful. As always, tell us what you do at home. What are you whipping up? How are you taking care of your hair in this harsh winter cold? Let us know, leave me feedback. Let's talk in the comments and I hope you guys found this helpful. I will see you guys next time with another do-it-yourself beauty video. Flaxseed homemade gel. That's what will be next. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.